Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Long Full Boots pedal demo. This handsome gentleman is the Frederick FX Accomplished Badger. <laughs> So this pedal is a fantastic little thing. It is a sort of two-stage preamp booster pedal. It's got a clean, I believe, op-amp uh, boost uh, gain stage, and then it's also got a germanium gain stage. And you can control those two gain stages independently. You've got the GE gain here, that's your germanium. And you've also got this tiny little clean gain here. Uh, and then you've got a master volume on it as well. Um, that means that you can use as much or as little as each of the different gain stages to get different sort of tonalities. It is not a treble booster, it is a full range, full frequency booster and um, it sounds great. Uh, let's start with the clean sound. A clean sound sounds like this. This is the uh, bridge pickup. This is the uh, middle pickup. And over at this end is the uh, So I'm going to stick with the middle to begin with. So um, what I'd like to do first of all is try and keep the badger at unity gain so you can hear what the two gain stages are doing. Um, so if we turn the badger on and if we lower this, well, if you lower them both down, you'll hear that these are not sort of um, turning all of the gain stages off. You still get some gain there, even with these two flat all the way down. And in fact, I wonder if... So even with those two all the way down, you can get above unity. So you've still got the, um, the, the uh, preamp in the circuit. So let's actually see what that sounds like. So uh, this is with both of these down. I'll try... So with it on uh, both gains all the way down, there's definitely a warming up in the low mids. There's also a bit of a muting of the top end, but even with there being no gain on either of them, there's a definite change to the way that the notes sustain. You can definitely hear it um, if I um, if I take it out and I play a note and let it sustain, and then bring it in during the sustain, you'll hear the difference. <laughs> Definite warming to the notes. Uh, so let's see what happens with the. Let's try the G E gain knob first. So. Um,
starting to hear those harmonics starting to come in. There's a, that little bit of a grunt to it. Really, really pretty. <laughs> Lovely compression to it as well. Really nice. So with that crunch, you can really start to hear that little bit of a um, little bit of clipping there. But it's the way that it reacts to your playing, and the way what I really like about it, weirdly, is what it does to your playing when you're playing lighter. Like that compression and that that sparkle that it adds is really so so pretty. Um, okay, so let's bring the uh, germanium gain stage all the way back down. Let's start pushing up the um, the clean one. Uh, so let's try and get back to. unity okay so Clean gain is definitely um, cleaner, so well named. Uh, so we're about it's quite difficult to see the uh, the knob position, but we're about halfway. Maybe a tiny little knob there, in focus. Yeah, there we go. And we'll keep going up, going up. A little bit of the dirt happening there as well. A bit of a different flavour. taking that volume down on the guitar a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
It's just real mess. It's just real, is what it is. Uh, okay, so um, I'll start bringing up the germanium as well now, I guess. Okay, let, let, let's, let's be scientific and let's just say what happens when both of these are at 12 o'clock. So with the germanium halfway, let's start bringing the clean up, see what happens, maybe clean at 3 o'clock. Switch their positions, that's 12 o'clock there, and so you've 3 o'clock there. <laughs> Okay, let's crack them both. Uh, I can only I can only take this so long. Just for the sake of the surprise, I'm just going to start with uh, my volume just notched off a little bit. So you can push it into the point where it is completely freaking out. I, I saw someone else describe it as a um, overdriven mixing desk sound, which is kind of what I'm thinking as well. So I don't want to go to the net pick of it. <laughs> Most that is coming from the clean gain bashing into this one, so I think even just notching this back a little bit.
So that's kind of listening to what the pedal sounds like in isolation. But in reality, you're more likely to be using this as a kind of a, as, as a well, as a boost. Um, so I don't know if you would click the uh, the drive button. Now, this is uh, the Laney BC30 that we use for uh, all of our demos. And it's got quite a lackluster drive sound. <laughs> So let's set this, uh, the two gain stages at 12 o'clock and then let's just give it some on the volume. So this is without.
cool. Yeah. So, Problems. yeah, so super good fun. You know, it, it sounds super pretty on its own, especially when you've got it just at that edge of that breakup, which, you know, you could leave that on all the time and just have it just that edge of the breakup just to give you, a, if you especially if you've got a slightly overly bright guitar, like this Strat kind of is, having it on and just rounding those edges off and just giving you that little bit of low, low mid boost and just that tiny bit of that tiny hint of drive uh, when you dig in. It, you could just leave it on and it would, with certain rigs, I think you you just improve everything massively. On the other hand, working in its, I guess it's um, alternate, maybe arguably main function where it's just mashing the end of, the, the front end of an amp. Obviously it just sounds like, um, you know, this decidedly boring sounding amp suddenly sounds into this massive evil fire breather, which is, which is super, 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 super cool. I'm, it's, I'm drained from, from all of this. Mm -hmm. this Awesome thing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Wow, we went we went quite long on this one. Um, if you made it to the end, sup. If you made it to the end, hit like and comment saying, I made it to the end. Um, <laughs> uh, if you want to check out our music, longforboots.bandcamp.com. Check out the rest of the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye. Bye.